What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for a very fun video and a little story to go with it. We are going to be doing a bikini haul. Um, specifically with the brand called Boutine LA. Now, if you have an Instagram, you've, I'm like 99% sure that you've seen someone in a Boutine LA bikini. It's the brand that has these little X's on them. Like the biggest Instagram models that you've ever seen are like always sponsored by this company, it seems like, and still are. Uh, now, my little story with Boutine LA, back when I was like 16, I found Boutine LA on Instagram. I was so amazed by them. I thought it was like the coolest suit company in the entire world. I would have done like anything to work with them. And last, was it last year? Yeah, in 2018, um, in October. So the first week of October, Boutine LA social media team reached out to me uh, via email and they were like, hey, you know, we'd, we'd love to work with you and send you some suits, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I was super excited and I agreed right away. And basically my deal with them was that I would post, I think twice a week, a photo in the Boutine LA suits and they would send me uh, new product every two weeks. And the only other thing that I agreed to was that I would only promote them on national holidays. So it was a super simple agreement. I wasn't paid at all for it. I was just like compensated with the suits that I had always wanted. Now, basically what happened with Boutine LA and why I no longer work with them, first week of December, it had been like three weeks since I'd received a package. I had been emailing, I wasn't getting responses. And Boutine LA basically reached out to me via email and they were like, you know, we appreciate your patience, we're putting a hold on the program of sending bi-weekly packages out to all of our influencers. So for now, you will not be receiving packages. We'll be start starting a system of new collections, rewarding our Boutine LA babes with early access to the collections and a significant discount on the items. So basically it was going to give me the option to still provide you guys with um, a discount code, but um, I would be purchasing the suits myself, uh, which just wasn't something that was interesting to me at this point. I already had like 10, you know, wasn't fitting in my budget at the time. So as the first week of December, I'm no longer working with them, not being paid to say any of this. I'm under no agreement to say anything, do anything, etc. I brought four of them with me to the UK. There are some that I really, really love, and then there are some that are really confusing to me. And so many girls on Instagram when I was working with them were like, what size do you wear? What do you think about the suits? Blah, blah, blah. So I figured I would just do a review. Not to say that they are all going to fit super well today. I haven't tried these on since like October when I was at my thinnest. So uh, we will we will see. I've put on about 10 pounds since then. I'll give you guys a full review on these suits for your reference. I'm a size small. Uh, I'm like a size two in jeans. I'm five foot seven, 124, 25 pounds. And I'm like a 32 C or D, depending on the day. So most of these are too small. Most of these uh, do not fit exactly true to size, and you will see that. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first suit that we have is the Manhattan Black Bikini Top 2, uh, and it retails for $50, and the Manhattan Black Island Bottom, that is also $50. So this is a $100 triangle, simple bathing suit. Um, as you can see, it has uh, the little black Boutine LA detail on the top here and as well on the bottom. The top has like movable triangles, I guess you can say. They're not like seamed down so you can move them around. It does come with padding. It's a tie around the neck, tie around the back. And then the bottoms are definitely a thong bikini fit. They have the thicker ties on the sides and they have a scrunch bottom. Now, you've probably seen this suit on me because it's what I take my progress photos in because it is probably the smallest bikini that I own. Top is very small on me, it's very revealing. I have to be careful <laughs> when I wear it. I don't think I would ever wear it in public. It's good quality, I will say. I don't think the bottoms are the most flattering. They don't, you can't pull them up high on your hips uh, without them kind of like folding in the front. They, they hit you low on the waist, which is my favorite but I think it's definitely good to have a staple black bikini would I pay a hundred dollars for it absolutely not that's up to you so for the next one we have the rose red zipper top and the rose red surf bottoms the top is $50 the bottoms are $35 and this is actually one of my favorite ones that I own from Boutine LA uh, I think the bottom is so so flattering the band on the bottom here has it's like a really thick 
it almost feels like a resistance band. Like it's a really thick band um, and it hits you. You can pull it up high waisted and it like holds everything in. I think it's really, really flattering. Uh, it is a super, super cheeky fit. This is like smaller than a thong. So it is revealing, it is small. Uh, if you are feeling a little bit thicker, it does give you like, it pushes in on me a little bit. It gives me, you know, kind of bumps here and there, but I still think it's cute. I really like it. Uh, and it has obviously the white X detail on the back. Not that you can really see it considering where it goes. And then uh, the top has this like racer back back and it has the zipper in the front and the zipper actually does zip and unzip. I got that question a bunch of times. People were like, can you actually unzip it? You can, um, which is kind of dangerous because if you want it to be just like unzipped a little bit for like the cleavage, it can easily just like slide open. So you kind of have to just keep it all the way zipped up. I think to be safe, uh, I would say this one as well as a small and I would say the top is my only top that runs true to size. It actually covers me. I think it's like a real small. Anytime I order a small bikini, this is about how it fits. The bottoms, I would absolutely size up if you don't want it like cutting into your hips. If I was to order these again, which I actually probably would order another pair of these type of bottoms because I think they're so cute, I would size up so that I can eat food and they're not gonna like cut into my food baby. <laughs> it's cute, it's a great suit. That's probably my favorite one. Moving on, we have the Lily Yellow Yogi Top and the Lily Yellow Island Bottoms. The top is $40, the bottom is $31. This one's a little less, I guess maybe it's not as popular because of the color. Now the story with the Yogi Top here, the one bikini that I was saying that I purchased from Boutine LA years ago was a Yogi Top and bottom. The top was way too small on me. Like I could never wear it. The band underneath the boob would like flip and turn. That would happen all the time with that yogi top, so I swore that I would never get another one. Um, however, they did send me this one, and this one doesn't do that, and the sizing is different. So if you bought one in 2000, I don't know, 15, and you're afraid to buy another one, they're better now. I still think they run small. They definitely hit you like halfway up your boob, which you may not want, but they're definitely bigger than the old one, and that band is now sewn down, so it doesn't wiggle around and twist. I think they're really, they're cute, they're flattering. Again, if I was, to go back, I would size up to a medium. And then the bottom, it's the island bottoms, the same as the black bikini, same fit, has a little scrunch in the back. Not my favorite because I, you can't wear them that high-waisted. That's it for that one. The color's really, really cute. I think it's super fun. It looks really good when you have a tan. And then finally, we have the pearl pink retro one piece. And this bikini is made by um, Chooks LA. And I guess Chooks is like a partner of Boutine LA. You can purchase Chooks or Boutine from the Boutine LA website. Now, I have this one in this pearl pink color and the Arctic white color. It retails for $55. And guys, I have no idea why I brought this with me. Maybe, you know, me in the future knew that I was gonna make a video about this. This is like the least true to size item I think I've ever bought in my entire life. I couldn't wear this ever, ever in public. The fact that I'm even putting it on on a camera right now is shocking. It, if you move the wrong way one time, it's over for you. It's so small. Uh, besides that, <laughs> I mean, the quality of the bikini is great. I. I don't even know if you sized up, if it would be longer or if it would be wider. I feel like their bikinis don't get wider ever, and that's really what this one needs. It is just too skinny everywhere. Maybe if you size up it would be better. I wouldn't risk it. I would never purchase one of these one pieces myself because of that. It has a little Chooks LA detail. It has a really, really low back and these very skinny front pieces that I just like don't, I don't know who this fits. And like you look at the Instagram models online and I don't know, maybe their bodies are just that different than mine, but this one does not work for me. Absolutely not. Um, but yeah, that is all, all I have for these suits right now. I have a couple other ones that if you guys are interested, I can chat about a little bit more, but they're just not with me right now. Uh, overall, some are great, like the this red rose one, I really, really love. Uh, if I was purchasing anything again, I would purchase this bottom that has this like super thick strap here that I really, really love, and I would probably, Maybe, I, don't, I wouldn't spend the money right now, but you know, if I hit the lottery and decided I was gonna buy $100 bikinis, then I would probably purchase the zipper top again, because I do think it is really flattering and, and really cute. And they do have other styles on the website, uh, if you're interested. There's one that um, is like a straight across top, I don't know what it's called, but I've always wanted a bikini like that, so who knows, maybe I'll try it someday in the future if I can get a color that I already own the bottoms to, because I just, I don't know. I just feel like I can go to Forever 21 and get a cute bikini for $30. I, 
I don't know about you. Not something that I want to spend money on. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, and thank you as always for the support. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.